Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 50. Behavioral Science, Epidemiology, and Biostatistics. Name the different types of clinical studies. The different types of clinical studies include case control study, cohort study, cross-sectional study, twin concordance study, and adoption study. What subtype of study is case control study? Case control study is observational and retrospective study. What subtype of study is cohort study? Cohort study is observational and prospective or retrospective study. What subtype of study is cross-sectional study? Cross-sectional study is observational study. Describe why case control study is considered observational and retrospective study. Case control study is considered observational and retrospective study because it compares a group of people with disease to a group of people without the disease, and it looks for prior exposure or risk factor. What question does the case control study ask? Case control study asks the question, what happened? What is measured in case control study? In case control study, odds ratio is measured. Give an example of odds ratio. An example of odds ratio would be patients with COPD had higher odds of a history of smoking than those without COPD had. Describe the design of cohort study. Cohort study compares a group of people with a given exposure or a risk factor to a group without such exposure, and it looks to see if the exposure increases the likelihood of the disease. How can cohort study be prospective or retrospective? Cohort study can be prospective if it asks the question, who will develop the disease? Or it can be retrospective if it asks, who developed the disease? Were the patients exposed the ones to develop the disease or the ones that were not exposed that developed the disease? What does cohort study measure? Cohort study measures relative risk. Give an example of relative risk. The example of relative risk would be smokers had a higher risk of developing COPD than non-smokers had. Describe the design of cross-sectional study. In cross-sectional study, it collects data from a group of people to assess the frequency of disease and related risk factors at a particular point in time. What question is asked in cross-sectional study? The question that's asked in cross-sectional study is what is happening? What is measured in cross-sectional study? In cross-sectional study, it measures disease prevalence. What type of data does cross-sectional study show? Cross-sectional study can show risk factor association with disease but does not establish causality. What questions are asked in case control study, cohort study, and cross-sectional study? In case control study, it asks what happened. In cohort study, it asks who will develop disease in prospective situation. And in retrospective, it asks who developed the disease, the people exposed or the non-exposed. And in cross-sectional study, it asks what is happening. Describe the design of twin concordance study. In twin concordance study, it compares the frequency with which both monozygotic twins or both dizygotic twins develop the same disease. What is measured in twin concordance study? Twin concordance study measures heritability. Describe the design of adoption study. The design of adoption study compares siblings raised by biological versus adoptive parents. What is measured in adoption study? Adoption study measures heritability and influence of environmental factors. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com. Dot com.